Hi, Simon Mosca here. Um, I'm currently at the Gran Bahia Principe Aquamarine Resort. I probably butchered that name. It's a long, clunky name. Anyways, I'm going to give you a, um, a tour of my room here. Um, at the resort, we are in Bungalow 80. And this is room 80 324. So here's a tour of the room. Let's go. All right, first of all, the room does have a safe. Many people ask, and there's the answer. There's a safe. And the closet, the hang stuff. You got your iron, it's another thing that people ask for. And yes, they do have that. All right, now we're gonna get into the washroom. And here we have a deep tub, double sinks. It's a pretty large bathroom, pretty nice. You've got separate areas. This is where you can do your um, your pee pee or your caca. Whatever you decide on doing, it's up to you. <laughs> it's your vacation, folks. And here we've got a shower which by the way is very complicated to get the right temperature, right? It's too cold, you move it a tad bit and then it's boiling hot. It takes um, a college degree to operate this uh, shower. And that's the washroom. Here we've got two beds. Uh, you can also have one bed. It's up to you. Um, just tell the front desk when you check in. Uh, there is one uh, issue here. There's only one uh, outlet by the bedside stand. So if you're two travelers or more, you want to charge your phone overnight, Bring uh, an extension cord, or whatever it's called, those things. You know what I, you know what I mean, for God's sakes. On vacation, folks, my brain is not, uh, it's turned off, to be honest. Uh, here we've got TV, drawers in here. You got the mini bar, uh, mini fridge. Should be stuck now. You forgot the damn beer. Thanks, folks. You can also have a coffee maker in the room, but uh, there seems to never be coffee. Whatever, not a big deal. Lots of coffee uh, places on the resort. Anyways, we'll get. I'll do a little review of the resort later on. For now, let's just talk about the room. All right? You got your ice bucket, little uh, writing uh, station, if you will. You got your um, little area here with the kind of a sofa type bench type thing. And now you have uh, the view is uh, is not like it's actually the view is actually a wall, but I don't mind it because the alternative to this is facing the pool, which is kind of cool, but it's it could get loud and I don't know. I'm okay with it. You you might not be, but again, uh, when, once you enter your room and if you see it's not to your liking, you could always go to the front desk. They're very accommodating. Uh, if you don't like your view, you want a different view, they'll change it. No problem. But uh, if you want to see a little bit of the balcony. Here we are. It's covered. Got cherries here.
So that's my room tour on uh, room 80, 324, right here at the Grand Principe. I'll, just, I'll put the name of it here, okay? It's, it's complicated remembering the name, especially when you have like, um, you know, a couple of um, Miami Vices and uh, whatever it is I drank today. I lost count. And uh, you know what I say, it's better to lose count than to lose consciousness, folks. Uh, anyways, uh, it's, it's, it's a nice room. I like it. Uh, so far, the trip has been great here. There is an issue with this room, however. I don't know if it's just me this time, if the resort is having a problem now, or if everyone that comes here has the same issue. I don't know. But the, the problem is the room keys. Um, they gave me a room key on day one. Uh, it didn't work. Um, hold on a second. Sorry about that, folks. I was uh, disturbed by housekeeping. Um, they, they told me to stop filming. They're gonna send a guy to kill me. No, just kidding. Uh, where was I? Oh yeah, the, the the room key, key card, whatever. So they gave me um, a room key. It didn't work. I went down to the front desk. I explained my card doesn't work. They gave me another one. Uh, it didn't work. Also. I went back down, another room key, and it did work. But the next day, it stopped working again. Uh, it's not a big deal, and every time it doesn't work, you go to the front desk, and they're very accommodating, and they give you a new one. Just that it gets a little bit annoying. When the beach is very far, and you gotta walk down to your room, key card doesn't work, gotta go back to the lobby, You got sometimes you gotta wait in line, and it's a little bit annoying, but it's not, a, it's not a, a deal breaker. It's not the end of the world. It's just one thing that's annoying. I don't know why they have this problem. Anyways, apart from that, it's a, it's a nice room and I am enjoying this vacation. Uh, anyways, stay tuned for a review of the whole complex. Uh, it's, it's a very big complex and we'll, uh, we'll get to it, all the pros and cons of all that. Maybe we're going to compare it with other resorts in the Dominican and everywhere. So stay tuned for that. This has been Simon Mosca. See you next time, jackass. I love a good palm tree.